Hey, welcome again to Wings as Eagles Ministry. Our goal here at this channel is to help you in your walk with Christ. If you have stumbled across this channel and you do not know the Lord, then hopefully, after watching this video, you will. A lot of times we do videos here at this, this channel that are more upbeat. We do them more on, maybe we'll do them on healing. Maybe we'll do them on uh, God's delivering power. Maybe we'll do them on just faith. Maybe we'll do a song. And we do a lot of singing and, and songs on the weekend. And we invite you to sing along with us. So, you know, they're a little bit more upbeat. Today's is just a little bit different, but it is very, very important. As we want to share with you today a word on eternity. A very, very powerful word on eternity and what you can do right now and the importance of being ready for eternity. You know, as you look around today and you see a lot of the news and the headlines going on a lot of people talk more about the word of god and more about the bible than they have in a long long time usually when something catastrophic happens people will talk about the bible but then after a while sometimes when things go back to normal people almost like they go back to their old life or their normal life and they quit worrying as much about the bible well today what the world seems to be going through, and I'm not just talking about one country, I'm talking about the world as a whole. You know, uh, a lot of people are talking about the Word of God. A lot of people are talking about uh, the Bible and, and the Bible prophecies that are coming true before our eyes. Well, the other day, the Lord laid upon my mind something that I was told a long time ago, and I want to share that with you on this video today. I want to thank my daughter for putting together this wonderful little, uh, you'll be seeing some pictures that illustrate what I'm going to tell you. And uh, sometimes it helps to see what someone is talking about. I want to thank her for doing a wonderful job. Please remember as you're watching this, it is very, very important that you pay attention to what is said because this video today is one of the most important videos I've ever done because it really deals with your soul. In eternity. Many, many people might be, maybe they have different opinions on, you know, uh, is there an eternity? Is there a heaven? Is there a hell? Myself, I go with the Word of God and I go with what the Bible teaches. So I believe those answers are yes, there is an eternity. Yes, there is a heaven. Yes, there is a hell. Today is your opportunity to make sure before you pillow your head tonight. You can make sure you're right with God. What a wonderful, wonderful day and a wonderful, wonderful hour that we're living in right now because it's the dispensation of grace, okay? But it's up to you what you do with this time period. Now, for 99% of my life, I sat under the same pastor. And I can say this, he was a wonderful, wonderful man. I would not have wanted anyone else to have been my pastor. I mean, I know everyone should feel that way about their pastor, and that's wonderful. Um, but I'm just speaking for mine because he was the one that I sat under. Many times when he would preach sermons on salvation or conviction, he would use this story. And it came to my mind the other day, and I want to share it with you today. And then I'm going to close with a verse from the book of Revelation. So please, please I ask you. Pay attention to what is said and stick around because I'm going to share with you the verse or two verses right after this video is over. Now to the story. Once upon a time there was a young man and for the sake of a name we're going to call this man Tommy. Tommy loved to swim. He loved to get out and play in the water. So Tommy would get out and and swim in creeks or ponds or wherever it was. Well, one day, he was along the beach and he decided to swim. So Tommy went out and he began to swim. This little young boy who thought he could conquer the world in his swimming. But as he swam out farther, something happened. He thought, oh no, I'm going to drown. His life, even at that young age, began to pass before his eyes because he knew he was drowning. He could feel his body start to go under and his little hand 
was waving up above the water as best it could. Tommy knew that was it. When all of a sudden, he felt something. He felt someone's hand grab him. As Tommy's head come to the top of the water, he could look over and he could see the young man pulling him to shore. Some young boy, a little bit older than Tommy, had come out, jumped in the water when he seen Tommy drowning, grabbed Tommy, and now was pulling him to safety. He gets Tommy to the shore, and Tommy makes it. And he tells him, my name's Tommy, and I want to thank you for saving my life. Well, Tommy realizes this is his chance. Now it's his chance to get older. Now it's his chance to have a second chance at life. He was drowning, but he was saved. Now he could do things again, and he had another chance to live. Well, as Tommy got older, Tommy made some bad decisions. Tommy made some very, very bad decisions. One day it came to the place where Tommy knew he might spend the rest of his life behind bars. Tommy had to go and stand before the judge. Such a frightening experience it was for Tommy. As Tommy began to walk in to where the judge was, he looked up and he seen the name of that judge. Tommy's mind suddenly was aglow. Tommy suddenly had a smile on his face. He remembered the name of that judge. That young judge that was a few years older than him was the young boy that had saved him that day from drowning. So Tommy goes up and he stands before the judge and he's thinking, I've got this in the bag. No matter what I've done, no matter how bad I've been, I've got it okay because the judge knows me. So Tommy goes up to the judge and he said, and he called him by his name and he said, judge, he said, you remember me, don't you? He said, my name's Tommy. He said, I'm little Tommy that you pulled from the water 10 years ago. When I was drowning, you saved me on the beach. I'm Tommy. But the judge looked at Tommy, and he had a stern look on his face. And he said, Tommy, I was your savior that day, but I'm your judge today. What a powerful, powerful story. I want to share with you a verse two verses out of the book of Revelation. Chapter number 20. Verse number 11 said, And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. And there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. Again it said, I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. Going back to that story, little Tommy thought the judge would have mercy. But see, Tommy had a new lease on life when he was saved. But he didn't take advantage of that life he had. He made, pro he made errors. He did bad things. But the judge told him, Tommy, I was your savior that day. But I'm your judge today. Today, God is your savior. Today, God is there for you. But this verse here that I read is future. This verse here, these two verses in Revelation, are something that will happen one day. I don't know when. I don't know how long. It might be many years from now. I don't know. But it will happen. But on this day that we read this scripture, 
God is not the Savior. He's the judge. All of these people that stood before God at this time, they will have wasted away their chance to get right with God. Now they won't be looking upon Him as a Savior. They'll be looking upon Him as a judge. Powerful story. He told that many times, and I've never forgot it. Today, I'm asking you, are you right with God? Do you know God? Today, God is your Savior. One day, He will be your judge. One day, if you don't get right with Him. But today's the day that, see, that man was standing before the judge because he had had things that he'd done that was wrong. See, you can take those things today that you've done that aren't right and have them forgiven. Have them put behind you. Start living a new lease on life where you're basically, proverbially, preferably as we said, pull from the water as that young man was. You know, the Bible gives us a lot of scriptures before we ever get to this scripture in Revelation. It says things such as, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Come unto me, all ye that are weary. Seek the Lord while he may be found. So many of these verses apply to today. If you don't know God today, today's your day. Don't wait till he's your judge. Because then you might run up to him and you might say, Hey, I'm so-and-so. I'm the one that did this years ago. I'm the one that, that you healed uh, my friend years ago. I'm the one that you did this for me years ago. But he could say, Today, I'm your judge. Today, we're living in a wonderful hour where you can make yourself right with God. Call on Him today. Because you know what the Bible said? The Bible said that, that He that cometh to Him, people that come to Him, He will likewise in no way cast out. He will not cast you away. He's your Savior today. While He's your Savior, while you've got this chance, call on Him and let Him do a work in your life. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button before you leave. I'd appreciate you giving a thumbs up and leaving a comment below. And also, whatever kind of social media you have, if it's Facebook or, or whatever it is that you have, Twitter, maybe somebody out there, maybe you've got a friend, maybe you've got a family member that needs to hear this. It's not, it's not me. I'm not trying to take any credit. I'm just sharing with you the Word of God, and some wise, wise words that was told to me a long time ago. I've never forgot them, and I hope today they give you a great and powerful message. Remember, God loves you, God bless you, and we'll catch you in the next video.